I tore off my victims' ears, burned their faces with boiling water, and beat them until they were dead. Welcome to my dark world. I am Darja Nikolajuna Saltikova, a Russian noblewoman and landowner from the 18th century. I was the mother of two sons and inherited numerous estates and servants due to the early death of my husband, which made me one of the wealthiest women in Russia. I was born in Moscow in 1730 and grew up in a noble family. After my husband died, I began to brutally torture and torment my servants. My cruelty knew no boundaries, and I enjoyed deciding the fate of other people. When I was dissatisfied with the work of my servants, I abused them in various ways, including the use of whips, sticks, knives, burning needles, and starvation. I tortured them with heavy weights, made them sit in cramped cages, and forced them to lie on the floor for days without food or water. One servant I first exposed to the freezing cold for hours, then I forced him into the house, beat him, and tore off his ears with red-hot tongs. I was especially fond of girls and young women. I stuck their heads in ice, burned their hair with a candle, or kicked heavily pregnant women in the stomach several times. Not only that, but I tortured two 12-year-old girls to death with a red-hot iron. I had the bodies taken away in carriages with the excuse that they had died of natural causes. 137 women and two men fell victim to me. It took several years until my series of murders was stopped. A few peasants who dared to report me to the authorities failed because of the corrupt police and the connections I had. It was only after Catherine the Great came to power that action was taken against me. The investigations lasted for years. Many details could only be proven little by little, because many witnesses did not want to testify out of fear for their lives. In the end, I was charged with 38 crimes on June 12, 1768. At least 75 deaths are said to have occurred. In order not to antagonize the Russian nobility, Catherine the Great refrained from imposing the death penalty. Instead, I was publicly pilloried for an hour on Moscow's Red Square with a sign that read torturer and murderess. I was stripped of my title of nobility and lost all my possessions. I was locked in a dark dungeon in the St. John the Baptist Monastery in Moscow, which was lit only when food and drink were brought to me. On December 26, 1801, 33 years after my imprisonment, I died in my dark underground cell. To this day, I have neither confessed nor ever regretted my deeds.